I am still leading a group in the European Parliament where, of course, ultimately there will be a veto over the whole Brexit deal and where the negotiations will take place over the next two years. And I've got a way up. You know, where am I best to be in terms of having an impact on Brexit and perhaps warning the British public that it's not going in the direction it should be? Am I better off staying in Strasbourg or better off trying to go to Westminster? The problem is you don't have a strong leader, or at least he is not perceived as being a strong leader. Well, he's got six weeks to prove himself, hasn't he? It's just as simple as that. This well, is see, it. If, if, if even you are not con- uh, convinced that he... I've, no, him. I've known him for a long, long time. He knows his own mind. He's a strong man. He's walked into... But it. they're fighting. I hate the old expression, but nonetheless, the party's fighting. Well, it was. Cats in a sack. Well, it was. It was. And let's be honest. Well, I don't it. notice it stopping. When did it stop? Oh, the day Carswell left, and we should have kicked him out two years ago. He was in there... So it was one single man responsible for, for the party coming apart at the scene. Nothing to do with one leader after another having to pack it in. I mean, can I, I would it? say that division within the party, he was very much responsible for. And in terms of... A part of... In terms perhaps. of the leaders. Look, when you, when you have somebody who's been a dominant figure as leader, which I was, and my critics would say domineering, and they'd probably be right too, as leader, when that person goes, there's bound to be a difficult period where we need to settle down. Now, Paul has walked into this job. You know, I guess he's probably himself been shocked at how tough it is, but he now realises exactly what he's facing, and I think he'll come through very strongly.